Hey everyone, today we are in epic Florence and we're here to build and launch a shop made of recycled plastic. All right, so just trying to get away from all the tourists. So yeah, this is Florence, the home and cradle of the Renaissance, which literally translates to rebirth from the Dark Age, which is a nice analogy for plastic recycling, where we give new life to plastic waste. So the Renaissance was as much about the big artists hanging around Florence for about a hundred years, as much as the very fertile ecosystem of craftsmen all around the city. Literally, there was a bottega at every little corner. And that's very much an interesting thread for precious plastic because precious plastic is often referred as a new craft. A craft using plastic instead of wood or marble or metal or you know any other material. And today we are totally lucky to be here to meet a true craftsmen. The people at Plastics will show you how to transform a shop into a recycled marvel. Buongiorno! Hola. Ciao carissimo! Grande! Grande! Hi, my name is Luca. I'm from It's Made. I'm the, the project manager. Today we are here in Florence to transform this empty space around me in a clothes shop with recycled plastic. This place before was a shoes shop and now uh, we became a second-hand cloth shop. We are here to put all our furniture around this shop. We create this furniture with all recycled materials with recycled wood, recycled iron and recycled plastic. We create all this panel with recycled plastic with the development of the machine, the project of precious plastic. We have two days for build this shop. transported all the furniture made of plastic. Now we're unpacking it and just uh, preparing the shop to mount it. We make it. This is HDPE. HDPI. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so after a couple of hours of Italian delays, the truck is finally here. The guys are unloading the entire van with all the recycled plastic for the shop. They're also very happy that the plastic didn't break. Uh, it's been traveling for about five hours uh, on the road. You never know things can go wrong, but luckily everything is still intact and now they're ready to build the shop. Ciao. Ciao ragazzi. We just finished to unpack the truck. Before to start, it's time to go eat. is full uh, in Italy is a very important thing now we can start to do our job the first thing we're gonna do today is the most harder things we should do because tomorrow we can uh, take care about the finishing today we do the most difficult things so the first thing we're gonna mount is the till then we're going to, to cover it uh, with a plastic panel made out of uh, bottle caps in the front of the cashier there are three boxes in which we're gonna put the polymers that we use to produce all the panel used in the shop. we already almost did it is the uh, till where uh, the people will uh, pay here it's the product we use for make our panel and this is shredded plastic we use for our panel we show every kind of polymer we use like dvd carlite 
and uh, back will appreciate and uh, they maybe can learn a little bit how they can use the rubbish for make something good for the future and for their own. We finished the payment counter, now we are moving to the next step. Hey guys, good morning, welcome to the second day of the build. Today we will put all the uh, plastic finiture and uh, we will do all the finishing and uh, the details. This is a shredded CD-ROM with PS. We will put this uh, uh, part of wood with plastic part. The mood of these uh, wings, how we call it, is to stay around the television with the CD-ROM, the thing we used before to watch our TV. Now we put all this around the frame and we put on the wall. Okay, so we just finished building the changing rooms. They're made out of uh, steel frame and wood and plastic sheet. Those are the doors. It's the, the final element that we're going to put. It's an HDPA panel made out of uh, DVD boxes. It's a 10 millimeter sheet and it weighs uh, around 10 kilos. We used from 60 to 70 kilos of plastic to create the, the whole panel. We're happy that these DVD boxes are here in a shop instead of the environment. Sometimes it happens that the panel aren't perfect, but we usually try to use them anyway because we think it's better to show maybe this detail instead of throwing away a panel just for some imperfections like this. Having an open-minded client also helps to don't waste our products because they accept and they valorize some of these uh, details and uh, we are happy of this. I'm sitting on our UFO. UFO, it's been a lamp that uh, it's composed by a disc with recycled plastic. After that, we get, you will get the lamp on the bottom. We make it with HDPE. We put it here 24 UFO for make a big light here, mix of color on the top of the shop. This one is made with LDPE and part of DVD cover, shredded plastic and bottle caps. After that, we make it even with car light. This furniture is for uh, shoes. They will put one pair of shoes inside, one pair of shoes outside to sell to the people. Usually the HDPE it get a difficult point to work. It's the it slide a lot. In this case, the HDPE is a plus because we need that this door will slide. We don't need to put wheel, the natural characteristic of material, permit to us to make it slide very easily. Now we are going to eat again, because it's very important. We are uh, happy, we trust uh, we can do it uh, for today. It's only six hours left, is that enough? Yes, we will be enough. We will go more fast. Okay, so those are uh, shopping bags that people used to bring here clothes that uh, they will be sold again in uh, Humana store. With this shopping bag, we make panel of this uh, with this pattern. Those are made with shopping bags. It's a 40% and a 60% LDP polymer. We cut this panel to compose these stripes and then we build this uh, panel. Those are standard that will be put all around the shop. And you can find other panel of different shape, but with the same uh, design all over the shop. Okay, so the guys are almost done with the shop, right in time for the launch event. However, before that, let's use the superpower of editing and fast forward in time a couple of weeks to see what the shop looks like when it's live. Oh my God, these lights are so cool. Hi, I'm Luca, a retail manager for Umana People to People Italia. I'm here in Firenze to present uh, our new project, our new shop, second hand clothes shop, Umana People. Why recycle plastic? It's important to recycle everything, in particular the plastic, because the plastic have a big impact for the environment. In uh, our project, we respect this rule to recycle plastic, and we decided to start with uh, its made 
to realize a new shop built with 100% of recycling material, in particular also plastics. We have a lot of people that give us the shopping bags like using the supermarket where they put their clothes and give us. What is the problem? That we can't reuse these bags. And now the challenge was how we can reuse these bags and the solution is with the plastics with its made also a bottle of plastic and other kind of plastic to realize our concept of the shops is important for us because we sell used clothes and the used clothes is a reuse to sell our clothes it's important to create a perfect cover a cover that is very coherent with us and now with plastics and with this system we realize our our goal our customers uh, are very satisfied of uh, our new style of shop. It's not possible to understand that it uh, is created with the used material because it's very cute. Our new challenge uh, together with its made uh, with the friends of plastics is uh, to explain better our concept for our uh, customers. I thank Pressure Plastic because uh, I know, I understand today that uh, without pressure plastic don't exist plastic and now was not possible to realize uh, our uh, shop now thank you for exist all right so that's how you build a shop from precious plastic massive shout out to the guys at plastics and i really hope that you guys have learned a ton on how recycled plastic can really enter society through really cool shops like this I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao! Ciao. Ciao.